I'm Sam DeRose. For the past couple years, we've been contributing projects to the Maker Faire, and every year they seem to get more and more elaborate. This year we're building a flight simulator inspired by the TV show Battlestar Galactica. So we started out with a couple Lego models for testing. Um, this was the first one we made as like a design prototype. Um, from there we moved to a more complicated one. This is our motion test bed um, to make sure that our motors are going to be able to talk with the software um, and get the motion how we want it. And from there we moved to a CAD model. This is an Autodesk Inventor model um, and we use this as a more accurate um, design prototype um, as well as to help us create a bill of materials. And then we actually built it. Here we strap in the pilot with, with a six-point harness and we can roll on two axes, this one and this one, and 360 degrees both ways. And we can use these two axes to simulate any flying sensation. In addition to recreating the feeling of flying, we're also trying to create a totally immersive experience by having joystick, thrusters, instrument panel, three computer monitors to display the virtual world, a ton of additional set dressing and blinky lights, and audio and video clips which we're making ourselves. So for the audio and visual elements, uh, we are using a variety of programs such as Final Cut Express, uh, Adobe After Effects, Adobe Photoshop, and GarageBand to create any video pieces or sound effects needed for the flight experience. So in addition to all of the hardware, uh, the Viper project also requires a whole lot of software development. Um, specifically, the actual game that's going to be running on the panels within the uh, cockpit, which is an open source flight simulator called Flight Gear. Um, and also, all of the Arduinos that are controlling the internal set dressing and internal controls. Um, so we have to program for all of those. And uh, the glue code in Python that uh, communicates between the game and the controls from, uh, and the Arduinos. 